So, you set your your uh, saw at 45 degrees. I don't think you can see that, but regardless, you set your saw at 45 degrees, where you end up with the 45 degree cut like that, and then uh, you measure it out how you need, and then you cut. Alright guys, so there you have it. Went down the whole length. Now what we have is a perfectly good uh, 45. And like I say, now on this other side, I got that measured out an inch and a half. So really, all I need to do is uh, switch my circle saw back to, to make a straight cut. Just run a line straight on down the middle, and then I'll have two of these. And so now with this here, all I need to do is for whatever size corners I need, I just cut it, cut it to length. You know? So, like I always say, it's a lot of different ways to do a lot of different things, but it's just the way I figured out how to do it before. For, for myself for my own convenience and then actually what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll end up flipping this over and coming back on this other side and doing the exact same thing and uh, putting another, another set of 45's off of that now it might be kind of hard uh, once you cut that other one off uh, you to get to the other piece but in actuality, what you should end up with, and I could be wrong because I haven't tried it, but I'm thinking you should end up with uh, being able to get four, four sets. Well, yeah, you could because I'm looking at it. You know, you get four sets off of this side over here and then another whole set off of this side and you got a little half inch piece left in the middle, which just end up trash. So, that's one way to do some 45s if you need them. Uh, I mean, it's solid wood it'll put a little bit of weight to the box but at the end of the day uh, do what you gotta do to make it work <laughs>